Bonjour. Hello, welcome to our channel. And we would like to talk about our brand, Essential Performance. It's not our brand, it's brand in our store. In our store. <laughs> I hope someday we will have our, our own brand. But uh, for now, it's a really, really eco-responsive eco brand from France. Mm -hmm. And we would like to dig in into, into the fragrances and speak with you about some of the perfumes in the first video. And the second part will be another four perfumes. The brand have eight perfumes for now. Yeah. And uh, we would talk, would like to talk about four of them. And mm. another products from the company. Yeah, yeah. Um, brand have something specific. Like, as, as I said already, they eco-responsive. All packaging is reusable, recyclable. And uh, they try to do as much more initiative to help achieve more sustainable growth to all of our planets. Yeah. And also, another point really, really good for this brand, they working with the different perfumers and each perfume created by individual perfumer. And in general, brand, when they hire a perfumer, they, they just give some kind of boundaries uh, to follow or um, kind of. This brand just say to each perfumer, each of eight perfumes that they have, you can do whatever you want. Just use nature. Yeah, just use more natural ingredients. And for sure, uh, they even, I, I think it's only one perfume company in our store, and actually the, the only one that I, I see so far, who even mark the percentage of natural ingredients mm, on the packaging. Yeah. So they do not afraid admit that they have a little bit of chemical ingredients, but we live in a world that when it's impossible to live without chemical ingredients. But anyway, each of the perfume, like less, I think it's 86. Yeah, yeah 86. The, minim yeah. the minimum per yeah. percentage is 86%. And in general, it's like 90, 92%, which is extremely much. And even, even alcohol that they use, they produce from a beetroot. So try to, even, even in this part, they try to achieve more ecological I would like and responsible to, to show the box that they put all perfumers who create the fragrance on the box. Yep. Yeah, and the discovery set, like, yeah, we always have a discovery set, and then the discovery set there will be eight fragrances each of 2 ml, and the price is really accessible, but we're not talking about this thing. We would like to talk about perfume, the juice. <laughs> and uh, the first, no, let's start with something more light. No, yeah, this one. The Musk, or the Musk, was created by Kalis Baker. She's really known for collaboration and working for which company? Killian. <laughs> yes, for Killian. She tried to create something like delightful, cloud, cloud. cloud yeah. Like feeling of the cloud because it's a musky fragrances, obviously. Mm -hmm. It have also floral acids yeah. uh, and also slightly lavender. And can you feel it's a bit beeswax? Difficult no? to catch, but I feel the the texture of the of the wax. The wax. Yeah. Yes, it's like it make this cloud a little bit tangy. Tangy, maybe tangy. Yeah. Like it's not cloud. Yeah, it's like, not cloud like that, air. that's let's in the air. You can touch it's it, yes. Yeah, it's cloud with more dense feeling and more intense feeling, mm -hmm. I would say. This one is a slightly sweet, slightly sweet. musky floral. And I would say this one it will be in the clean side of the fragrance. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, even have a little bit of soapy feeling. Soapy feeling, yeah, yeah I like, agree. Like even like um, you know bath uh, bath form, mm -hmm. um, yes. Feeling. Yeah, this is beautiful, and um, I feel the mask here is not so heavy, and it will not like when you wear on warm fragrance. Oh, in warm the weather. <laughs> <laughs> It will not kill you, you know. With yeah, the... yeah. This this mask is like it can be a signature scent um, with with any weather, mm -hmm. any temperature outside. So as usual, white mask is 
I personally not recommend to wear during the heat because it can be choking. That one is really wearable. You can yeah. you, you can you can absolutely easy wear it. And I would say this this one, this fragrance for for those people, sure it's feminine. It's yeah. not unisex. Mm, I wouldn't say so. Yeah. It's it's feminine. It's floral, slightly sweet mm. and musky, so it's feminine. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I would say it's feminine fragrance for 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 feeling yourself clean, relaxed on occasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this this fragrance uh, perfect for someone who like this clean uh, feeling. Yeah. From fragrances. So if you would like to have the fragrance like you apply fragrance that you're applying in your routine after after the shower to keep this fresh feeling yes the fragrance for nighttime yes that is perfect <laughs> i know that you like to do that uh, that is perfect and uh, the fragrance for office perfect, perfect. Um, because you can it's yeah. it's close to your skin it's relaxing same time it's not provoking it's mm -hmm. not over sensual and sexual it's just everything in one time at one place but really confident yeah. and relaxed it can be like everyday fragrance and if sometimes if you like to wear something more provo 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 provocative provocative you can wear another one but it's like yeah this one for yeah for everyday, everyday. yeah everyday. yeah so you can wear like suit for this one yeah. and you can wear like dress as well yeah. uh, something flowery dress yes. so it can be a um, like universal scent like it's perfect for signature scent, actually. If you're looking for signature scent, which is not uh, like over projecting something relaxed and comfortable, yes. So the color of fragrance? I think it's like a white mask. It's something mm -hmm. um, white and slightly transparent. Transparent, like like cloud, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like this. It's uh, emotion for for sure. Something relaxed. Yeah, something relaxed and confident, confident. and clean. Uh, I would say it's something in in this taste and then. Uh, and taste for mm. me is, I know, is it like beeswax. I, like, I have two feelings of the taste. One, it's like kind of so uh, for me. And another one, if it's com uh, compared to the taste, is uh, I know when in, in my childhood, I have, um, we had this beeswax with, a, with, a, with a honey mm -hmm. and you can chew it like a chewing gum. And when when you finish all the all of uh, all of it's the really honey, honey yeah. it's kind of feel, uh, yeah you 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 have the, like beeswax like that's kind of like mm -hmm. a chewing gum that you use yeah, like yeah, chewing yeah, gum. Yeah. Uh, I don't think like someone have it right now. <laughs> like long long time ago we had this, and uh, for me there's like two feeling like something is like a beeswax and, uh, with the uh, with the honey and um and another yeah, one is a uh, feeling of salt. Yeah 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 yeah, the same for me. Yeah. So yeah, let's start. Yeah, and also they just start in transition. I don't know if you already have this brand or not. I just should mention this. They just start in transition from bottles like we used to have, which is you know clipped and you cannot open it, to new bottles which are already reusable. So you can. Oh, that is it's not, not new. This is not new. Let us. No, this is not. Do it. Yeah, thank you, Stan. So the new bottles will be fully reusable. So every time you can. <laughs> you joking on me? Oh, no, it's not this one. <laughs> yep. So yeah, I, I hope this this one. Well, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So new bottles from this brand, fully reusable. So you can unscrew it. And you use, use 150 ml refill to refill it by yourself and save a lot of money on the packaging because this packaging is fully reusable. It's aluminum. I don't know because some people say aluminum. Some people say aluminum. Okay. Aluminum is in Europe. Aluminum, I think, in the, in the, in the US. But it's it's up to you. So it's. For me, it's aluminum. This this one is fully reusable aluminum, and a plastic here is again biodegradable. But you understand. And it's 150 ml, and it allows you to save about 30 percent of the price of this if you buy this perfume, which and is really good. And they have for each uh, kind of perfume a refill. Y yes. For now, in our store, we have only 150 Bois Imperial, since. Uh, 
I know for sure that all new batches of Bois Imperial already that we have in stock, already refillable. Since some of these bottles still not refillable, I think we will bring in in two months uh, when we have uh, refillable bottles, so we will have a refill as well. So it's another eco-responsible mm -hmm. approach from the brand. Okay. So the next one? The next one will be Montvitiver Mont by Bruno Jovanovic. Do you remember? Wait, Portrait of Lady? Mal. Oh, Frederick Mal. Yeah. He worked with Frederick Mal, created some fragrances with him. So this one is a classic Betiver. Yeah. And uh, what he, he had in, in the mind when he created this fragrance, to create something classy, elegant, elegant as well. Yeah. And this one for sure will be vetiver based fragrance. And it's too elegant. It's not so heavy. I don't know if you ever encountered this issue when you smell it like this, you feel perfume like it's on your skin. When you f when you use mm. blurs, it become much more one dimensional. So for me here is a slightly cypress juniper. Yeah, no. And uh, like kind of gin accord, mm. kind of gin feeling. Yeah, feeling. I don't think they have gin. No, they don't have it. Yeah. but but, but the feeling, yes. But exactly. if if I smell like this, there will be more vetiver, mm -hmm. more slightly more smoky feelings, and um, and like a, and a woody facets. Like it it will be like cedar on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like when you. Smell directly more vetiver, you feel more vetiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you know, in our previous video, some of you may know, the vetiver is a grass. Yeah. But you can feel it like it's wood. Woodsy, yeah. Woodsy, feel relaxed, it. warm, woodsy. But sometimes it's it's heavy, you know. Here in, in the perfume, they make it really elegant. Yeah. I would say this fragrance will be perfect for men. Months? Yeah. In general, vetiver fragrances are more created for, for masculine, men, yeah. masculine uh, auditory, and you, you definitely can feel it's it's an office scent. It's a scent for pretty intellectual person. Yeah. It can be quite wealth as well uh, when you don't want to project too much, but you want to feel this confidence, elegance. In yourself. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. What do you think about profession? Can it be good for a lawyer? Mm, yeah. Yeah. I think it's it should be somewhere when you need to be elegant but not over no, not, Yeah, not to scream about yourself. Yeah. Because but it so will... it's, it depends which kind of lawyer. Some lawyers you need to be uh, mm. aggressive. But it's I don't think it's it's good. Yeah, it like, can be aggressive, but I don't think it's good to use perfume when you have the court, you know. And this perfume, I think it will be perfect. It will not. I think it will put attention on the point of the process, and uh, they will not think about. Uh, oh my God, Jesus Christ! What this guy were so. Creamy mm, I don't you know. know. I wouldn't agree because for me, lawyer is a person who should grab attention, who should lead the people, who should defend, even, even in the court, mm. like he or she, this person should uh, attack. Everyone. Attack. <laughs> yeah, defend the, the person. I don't know. Maybe I'm. I'm so we, maybe we, maybe I watch too much movies. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, this per person uh, will be good for lawyer who. Who just go outside? Is <laughs> not in the court <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> who need to relax after the court when he or she was aggressive <laughs> and attack? I would say this one, like continuing your your thoughts. I would say that will be perfect for judge, person who should be yeah, neutral, quite. responsible, and uh, making decision as well. Okay. So I would say like that will be like in a court theme. It will be for judge. judge. And uh, for someone who works in, in a bank. Yeah, it can be, yes. It's, it's, it's really nice fragrance for the bank as well. For businessmen? For, 
depends which kind of business. I would say it's like for businessmen who who work in, in perfume who work, store. Yeah, who work <laughs> in, a, in a luxury industry. Yeah, good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, in like luxury mm-hmm. industry. So you 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 have to yeah, be yeah, stylish. Yeah. You oh, have this to is be, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And good good work like luxury. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say yeah. Do you feel anything connected with your senses of taste? Difficult. Yeah, I would say like it's a kind of if you take gin tonic, but you you put some you put more dark. gin. Oh no, <laughs> more tonic, more tonic and less, and less gin. And sometimes they put lime, but we will put not lime. We will put the bark of wood <laughs> <laughs> to to heal this woody notes. Actually, here uh, they have a lime as well. Yeah, I know. Yes. And it's a little bit zesty from the lime, like mm-hmm. l- just just a bit. It just give a little bit of sharpness. Bit, yeah. yeah, beautiful scent. So yeah, that one is beautiful, and I would say this one is again can be perfect signature scent. Mm-hmm. And something that all line doesn't matter which perfume have, they have this airiness and the feeling of yes. something natural. So I think they was created for big cities. Yeah, this fragrance was created for big cities where. Uh, people don't have enough park space, parking, like not parking space, I mean green spaces. Yes. Where they don't have the fresh air. I'm not talking about Montreal. Montreal is perfect. It's too green. It's <laughs> green parks everywhere, fresh air from San Laurent River. <laughs> and we always enjoy a good quality of air, even with two days of smoke. And, uh, so, yeah, this one is a business person fragrance for big city, color. successful person. Successful and uh, good words for the fragrance. It's luxury, elegant and luxury, elegant. And, um, you know, we, uh, when I'm thinking about the color, mm-hmm. for me, it's like green tweed. Yeah, it's like green and uh, like a texture of the tweed. Ah. So it's not like green polish green it's a green and slightly like like velvet uh, feeling mm-hmm. yeah good good green yes yep okay so we decided there yeah? we agreed this is more masculine or lady boss okay, maybe it can be lady boss yes okay yeah give us your opinion <laughs> the next one next one will be ah. yeah most popular most popular one boy imperial by kenton dish and you know, you probably already heard about Kenton Bish so many, many, many times. He worked with Ex Nihilo. Parfum de Mali, no? Parfum de Mali. Marc Antoine Barois. So whatever he created become a masterpiece and one of the best sellers. So yeah. he is responsible for creation of Delina. Mm. He is responsible for breaking your budget with Fleur Narcotique. <laughs> He is also responsible for last year, everyone must have perfume Ganymede, which is already, yeah, uh, yeah uh, we already have it again. Yes. So, yeah, he's responsible for so many popular, perfumes. popular yeah. Per- yeah. fragrances Trendy, popular yeah, perfumes. that drain all your money probably. <laughs> from the- <laughs> but we will come back to the fragrance and yes. the fragrance will, will open with a fresh feeling. Fresh. It's something like extremely fresh, green, but in a minute you will get this woody notes again. Woody. Pepper notes again. Yes, it has to have a little bit of musk, it has a little bit of molecule, ambroxan. molecule notes. Ambroxan, but they, they call it a little bit different, but it's kind mm-hmm. of ambroxan that's inside as well. So what, how molecules work, they help enhance your fragrance your own scent and also they also help a lot project your fragrance so this one will stay much longer it's kind of in a beast mode even though it's not extremely offensive in the public yeah. it's so light confident beautiful unusual in a good way yeah, unusual you will, like yeah it's something different yeah you can yeah. catch it you will, it's yeah. like Oh my God, what is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, sorry. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, you said. And you know, from here, I can feel much more basil and a little bit of sweetness. But when I listen yeah. on a blotter, it's 
green facets of basil with uh, akigala wood, mm -hmm. which is main here, which is give this peppery notes, and it yeah, also have notes. a black pepper as well. Oh. So <laughs> yeah, this fragrance, even though we live in Quebec, it's a province in Montreal, if, if you don't know. And most in of the Canada. people here, uh, when they, when they in this, Montreal, <laughs> yeah, it's, you love Montreal. Oh, I, lo you, I love you, Montreal you make so much. Country. Sorry. <laughs> <From this. laughs> yeah. Hope someday we will have country of Montreal. <laughs> yeah, Quebec is province of Canada. Sorry, guys. And most of the people here don't have a habit to use a fragrance, and um, they a lot of fragrance-free communities here and the fragrance-free spaces here. And even with this approach, a lot of people go into this fragrance because they feel it's natural. They don't feel it's offensive, like it's chemical, it's something mm -hmm. um, that you can buy in a cheap store and it will be, feels like chemical calls your allergy. It smells so natural. So a lot of people even here want to have this fragrance. Yeah. So it's, it's absolutely universal. Again, since it's have a little bit of molecule inside, it will sound different on each on each skin. Some people say it become more basil on, on oh. their skin. Some people say it's more like for myself, I feel more woody and uh, black pepper. When Stan wears this fragrance, I feel more pepper acids. Uh, some people in our store just just recently shared with feedback that they feel much more basil, this green grass feeling, mm -hmm. basil feeling, refreshing feeling, which is really, really beautiful as well. And yeah, and for that fragrance, we already have all bottles are refillable, and we also have a refill in case you want to save your money, save your budget, and be more eco-responsive. Also, that's not the all thing. We also have for this fragrance, and not only for this, you can check on our website, there's a lot of different options. We have a candles with okay. more imperial as well. Oh, this is a mask. Yeah, yeah sorry. It's, uh, oh, it's divine money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, some, it's somewhere there. So we have also the candles, and the, for candles they use, again, they don't use soya beans. They try to use only mineral wax, which is more, a little bit more expensive. And um, there's a lot of uh, feedback from this fragrance as well. They try, the fragrance, fragrance candles, they try to, even though it's more expensive than the original mm -hmm. candles, but they collaborate with Diptyque, extremely famous in the candles world. And Diptyque helped them create more sustainable candles. And also, why they don't use uh, soybean wax, they use another one type, mineral wax, just for capturing the fragrance exactly the same. So it will be smell absolutely the same in your room. Also, we have soap. Soap, hand and body soap with the same fragrance. fragrance. And, and refill. refill. They always the think soap. about refill as well. And, um, and one more. And one more. I don't think that we have a gel as well. Gel is only for nice bergamot. Do we have a gel for nice ber only for nice bergamot? In our store, you mean? No, no, no. Or in general, in... Uh... We have all what they can offer. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, it's only for nice bergamot gel. But uh, soap, refillable soap, have as well. And the price tag for that one is really good. And it's coming in, in a glass. And gel, it's disinfection for hands. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move... Oh, yeah. So it's unisex, we said. Uh, Color. It depends. You know, it depends. For me, it's something more like leaves, like leaves or tree of, of tree on a sunny day. Yeah, it's green for me as well. But it's not like green. It's like like when you when you look right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. you will see it's like it's shiny. green, <laughs> shiny, and a, like. It's fitted with the sunlight. Yes. So yes. it's like, it's radiant even. With the greenness and uh, this natural aspect. It's not like mm -hmm. green that comes to something, you know, sometimes green can be associated with um, something uh, poisonous. Or dark. Or dark, yeah. yeah. But this one is something like radiant, shiny. And that one, perfect. Again and again and again, all the fragrances are airy, so that it's 
can be perfect for signature scent. Since it has a pepper note, it can be used also really good for dates, for evening. Because yeah. it's, I think mm, this fragrance will change he, its ambience during the day. On the daytime, it will give more fresh feeling. On the evening, it will be more warm feeling from wood and from uh, from spices. Yes. Agree, Anat? I agree. <laughs> but yes. I'm trying to, to do like uh, Demi Rowling. Say everything about the fragrance. <laughs> Let's do fourth and last one for today, but not the last one from the collection. It's called Divine Vanille. And sure, it's about vanilla. Mm -hmm. It was created by, by Olivier Pichot. Do you know where, where Olivier Pichot works? Diptyque. Di he works with Diptyque. Yeah. This fragrance reminds cherry. <laughs> yeah, even though there is no cherry, but yeah. sometimes it's happened and uh, sometimes vanilla goes to amber, sometimes vanilla goes to cherry in this fragrance. Yeah, it's remind me of cherry. Yes. It's... With smoky notes. On a dry down, it become more woody, like have more woody, mysterious facets, more dark even, with this smoky feeling. But here, it's absolutely different. Don't have a chair. <laughs> it's smoky vanilla. Smoky vanilla. Yeah. So this fragrance, I would say, only one from the collection that can be more for cold weather. Cold weather or maybe or evening. evening, yes. Yeah. So it's or maybe only, for dates. Yeah, maybe for dates because it's vanilla, vanilla, you know, it's much more seductive fragrance. And like everyone loves vanilla and sweet fragrances. Female? No. Yeah. I would say it's absolutely unisex since it's not over sweet. It's covered in smoke. It's absolutely... Uh, we even have a, a feedback from Jared, our, our favorite customer. <laughs> and he is uh, replying that on the dry down, it smells like Arrow from Parfum de Mali, which is m on the masculine side. Mm. But uh, I would say, yeah, most likely, yes. I would say if you like fragrances like Ani by Nishane, what else? Uh, Ani by Nishane, Parfum de Mali, Erat. Yeah, that can be in your style. So it's smoky vanilla, not over sweet, something mysterious, seductive at the same seductive. time, really seductive. It smells a bit like, for me, like like dark chocolate, dark chocolate with vanilla. For me, uh, it's slightly boozy even. Cherry. Uh, slight, even slightly boozy. No? Mm, boozy, yes. Chocolate that I, I can't um, catch. It's still cherry for me. Okay, okay. What so this taste of cherry for you? Yes. Maybe a little bit smoky cherry, you know? For me, it's a little bit like creamy, smoky, creamy cherry taste, I would say. Kind of like with the texture, I would say it's slightly more creamy. Like creamy, but with the same time with the smoky. Something yeah, light, it has creamy, something like, creamy. Like, yeah. you know, like whipped, uh, whipped cream. Because it's really light. And the color for me of cherry. <laughs> I would say it's the color for me if you take a whipped cream, which which will be slightly like pink, mm. like creamy, mm -hmm. and a pink um, color a bit. So yeah, that will be. That nice. one is really nice. That one is really good. Also available with uh, candles and uh, soap, so body soap as well. So you can try a lot of different options and with... Uh, Discover set, you can try yeah. all of them. And you can try yep. to, to find your own perfume from essential, essential perfumes. I think this, this, this company makes so universal fragrances, so it can be absolutely everyone's favorite one. And um, share your thoughts about this. If you, if you tried this one, share your thoughts. We would like to know what you think about this fragrance, this brand as well. Yeah, did and you hear about the, fra uh, the, yeah. the brand? I think everyone already yeah. know this brand. Um, it's so popular right now. And then the price tag for, for full bottle is so accessible. It's even less than for 100 ml. It's 109 Canadian dollars and it's about 80, 80 US dollars. So it's even less than mass market uh, offer, yeah. offer you at Sephora or at your CVS or... Pharmacy, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, but nature. but longevity is better. It's more natural, and um, so I strongly suggest you to try at least one or two fragrances from this brand. Or discoveries. So, or discoveries. Yeah. Um, yeah, 
uh, it costs you less than take a uh, full pizza for yourself, <laughs> <laughs> but much more enjoyment for your, for yourself. I'm I, I guarantee you. So we will have uh, part two. Yep. Uh, with with another four fragrances. Yeah. yeah. And um, watch second part. A bientôt. See you guys. <laughs>